Hello again, it's now time for Mission. And Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. In our first story, some children of school-going age at Winneba in the Efutu municipality of the central region have shunned school for fishing. Stanley Nibleu was in the area and has filed this report. It is a bright Wednesday morning at the Winneba Landing Beach in the Efutu municipality. Lots of fishermen are at work. <laughs> Residents depend on the sea for their major source of livelihood, although with challenges. Fishmongers have spent more than five hours awaiting fishermen who had earlier set off for their fishing expeditions. It's midday and the population of people at the landing beach has multiplied. Soon, the fishermen begin to arrive with their catch. It is not the peak season for fishing, but fishmongers are optimistic of getting required quantity of fish home. As a usual practice, fishermen request the services of their colleagues and other people to pull their canoes and boats ashore. Children who are supposed to be in school have come to work at the shore. In fact, they are being exploited here. Some children have masters they work for. This is where majority of children in this community find solace when away from school. For this reason, education is not given priority. Most of these children here are errand boys. After helping to draw the canoe ashore, they are appreciated with fish, which they sell to prospective buyers. For this reason, the Winneba Landing Beach has been a safe haven. These two boys, for instance, refused to tell me their names, but one told me he willingly dropped out of school. He attributed this to the fact that he was unable to absorb or assimilate lessons in school. He serves as an errand boy for other fishermen at the Winneba Landing Beach. He claims he supports his parents with proceeds from his day's activities. I then demanded answers from the fishermen. Bonin Suma is a popular fisherman at Winneba. He tells me he lost a life-changing opportunity because he was not educated, hence his resolution. I had an opportunity to work with a white man in Tema, but I lost it because I could not speak English or understand it either. Because of this, I have resolved to educate my children. He blames both parents and children for not playing their parts. There are some children in this community. Their parents are well to do, but they have refused to go to school. The parents have also left them to roam about. Leadership of the Fishermen's Association says they have instituted measures to prevent children from coming to the shore. But their efforts have not yielded much as the presence of children at the landing beach continues to soar. Parents who are eager to educate their children also do engage them in fishing activities. Mending of fishing nets, for instance, is the duty of the children. Akwesi Akwano is also a renowned fisherman at Winneba. He tells me some of the difficulties why parents are unable to take their children to school. Our children are often being sacked from school because we don't get premise fuel to go for fishing. Living here is difficult. Access to quality education is one of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Achieving access to quality education in Winneba would require commitment 
from all stakeholders. Stanley Nibliu, TV3 News, Winneba, Efutu, Central Region. And away from the central region, out of 1,000 students presented each year for the basic education certificate exams in the Pusika district, less than 15 of them pass for placement. And for three consecutive years, the district has fallen second to last during the BECE nationwide. And this has been partly blamed on lack of teaching and learning materials, as well as massive absenteeism by students. A report by Sarah Parku. The Puziga district was carved out of the Boko district six years ago because its population has risen over 75,000. There are many private and government cluster of schools in the district serving the over eight major communities. Each year, the district presents over 1,000 candidates for the basic education certificate examination. However, only a little over 6% of the total number passed for placement. In 2017, the best student in the area had aggregate 24, a similar situation in 2016, and a little over 6% in the 2018 report by the GES. It is believed that every child of school-going age has been enrolled in school. This is the Pusiga Practice 1 and 2 Basic School, which serves as the practicing field to teacher trainees from the College of Education. Facilities in the classrooms are a source of discomfort, including stones, broken desks, as well as exposed and rusty metals, which serve as desks for learning. What if I can the kindergarten class has over 85 pupils. Pupils as little as four years study under trees and also write on their laps. They are not alone. Pupils in stage one to six sit on stones and broken chairs. Aside the overcrowding, students lack learning materials. This is undoubtedly the fate of most basic school students in government schools, except for those whose parents can afford private schools. Headmistress for the Puziga practice number two, Madame Mari Adishetu, is calling on philanthropists to assist the school with a proper structure and learning materials. I'm also trying with the PTA, SMC, and the community as a lie to see what we can do to help the people in the Puziga community. The new Puziga practice JHSA and B was constructed to reduce overcrowding, but it appears the situation has not changed much. Previously, a class was occupied by over 100 students. Currently, the number in each class is a little over 80. Both teachers and students are equally worried about the falling standards. Headmaster for the Puziga JHSB, Yusuf Idrisu, maintains teachers give off their best. The teachers teach well and they do their duties very well. But the issue here is that mostly the children don't do the learning themselves, especially at home. He outlined plans by the school to ensure the students have at least three mock exams this year before their final exams despite challenges with inadequate teaching and learning materials. This year we are planning to do maybe if we can't have up to three. But last year for instance we did only one mock before the children wrote the exams. 15-year-old Awini Lois who is a final year student blamed the low performance on the lack of practical during teaching. If the teachers and the expert that uh, they show us things that if we see and we really know that this it really happens, that way we can understand. But English teacher Benjamin Atwasi is certain absenteeism by pupils dominate factors causing the falling standards. We have cases where teachers are always ready to teach, but students are nowhere to be found. Students 
don't even check their results again. They wait for the placement. All they care about is I will go to school. Assistant Director in Charge of Supervision at the Puziga Ghana Education Service Directorate, Braima Isahaku, blamed challenges on political interference. The policy makers, they have caused problems for us. They keep on changing the training institutions. Content is free. And it is when, what you know that you teach. The students come out the way they have entered. They are supposed to be mentored by professional teachers on the field. These professional teachers too, excuse me to say, you can't be boasting of them. This situation, according to the assembly, is a major worry. District Chief Executive for Puziga Zuberu Abdullahi revealed how 70% of the district's resources go into education, yet there is little return. The future is not too good. And, for there, and therefore, it is something that we must all be worried about. It's not only what you are picking. If I speak to you now, I have programmed to meet the GES, and the plan is how are we going to prepare the current candidate to face the BEC. The District Assembly says it is putting in place measures to ensure the situation is addressed for better results in the BECE from 2019 and subsequent years ahead. Sarah Paku, TV3 News, Puziga. And as that for Mission, Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid.